you didn't let that situation defeat you and rose above that challenge now anything that comes after that you'll see differently all right you rose above that situation you didn't let it defeat you that was something very challenging for you that was something extremely difficult for you to face you met it head on you said you know what I'm going to make and take every stab attempt grab I'm gonna do everything I can to make this happen that's what you said you got upset to do better it may not have ended the way you wanted to you may have had some way you felt about that but at the end of it you were able to look at it and say you know what you gave it your all so so it's okay when you are trying to do something and it doesn't work out but you're still working out because you're taking every stab at it you're taking every grab at it you're making sure that you could take every attempt you're not just gonna give up that easily oh no not you oh no you Psh, please nah you're in it to win it and there's a lot more that you know you're capable of doing so why let something this why let something this small why let something this little get in the way all right get out how get get it out you know let it out whatever you got to do all right get it out let it out scream shout you know don't be yelling at nobody all right um whatever you got to do to feel better all right or to let out the type of stress immediately you may have had to deal with something and the immediate shock was like man what the why am i having to deal with this but all great people say why not me or why not you so things don't happen to you they happen for you maybe it's best things happen the way they do obviously it is best all right but it's hard to accept it in the moment because when when you are doing your very best you to to how to how you feel all right you're, you're doing your very best in your mind you're you're making things happen you're doing things to the best of your ability it may be something that you really need done it may be something that you really have to do and it's like you're you're, you're giving it your all you made every attempt you took every stab at it and it still didn't work out and you almost feel defeated it's to the point to where it feels like it broke you down and it's like how are you going to be able to get back up from something like this how you have to find your reasons why that's how how you're going to get back up you have to know why you're in this thing why are you even working so hard at trying to make something happen in the first place the reason that you put your put your all into it is because that means you you really want to see this thing happen you you care about your life you have to you have to care about your life you have to want to want to see things work out for yourself it may not be easy to conceptualize that right now with all that you're dealing with or all that's in front of you it may not be easy for you to look at it that way but you have to because that's the way that's going to allow you to see the light at the end of the tunnel that's the way that's going to allow you to plow through whatever it is you're going through or whatever is in the way even if you don't feel your best you can program yourself to so regardless of how you feel because what you feel is not real so keep on moving it may be rubbing you the wrong way that you couldn't figure something out keep on moving don't feel defeated don't feel like you're less intelligent than anybody else who has the skills or the talent to be able to to do what it is you couldn't do if you truly want to do that 
and, tr and, and take the time to learn how to perform it, you'll be able to eventually. But it's nothing. It's nothing to beat yourself down for, over. Nothing to beat yourself up for. Nothing to be hard on yourself for. Or to think you're not as good as anyone who can do it. You're just as good as anybody else that can do what you may have an issue with or may have trouble with or even a struggle with. <gasps> Just don't accept it. Don't accept the fact that this is difficult for you and it feels like you'll never be able to do it or it feels like it's something that you can't do or it feels like something that you're not good enough at. Your mind's telling you those things. Don't agree with that. Don't accept that for yourself. Accept that you have some things to learn and that you're improving and getting better every day. Your, your skill level is, is jumping off the charts. You're, you're going to be one of the best. Regardless of anything, regardless of whatever, whoever. All right, it's all about you it's all about the vision you have in your mind it's all about what you want to see for yourself but giving up won't allow you to see anything thinking that it won't happen for you won't allow you to see anything not thinking that you're worthy or deserving of it because you're not able to produce the same way as all the other people that are doing the same thing that you're doing right now that's not going to cut it. That won't get you anywhere. You can't be defeated to the point to where you'll give up totally. A situation can be defeated, but don't let it defeat you to the point to where you have a defeatist mindset. And if you have a defeatist mindset, I'm here to tell you today, you can change that and rearrange that. You don't have to keep thinking defeating thoughts or you don't have to keep thinking with a, a defeatist mindset. You can change the way things go in your life by changing the way things are moving in your thought process and your thought world. As it is on earth, y'all ready for it? I don't think y'all ready for it. Y'all ain't even know what that meant. As it is on earth, so it is in heaven. As it is on earth, so so it is in heaven. How how is your heaven? How's heaven looking for you? How's your mind looking for you? What type of thoughts are you thinking? What kind of experiences are you having? If you can if you can analyze the type of experiences that you're having, you may want to change some of the, the thoughts that you're thinking. If you don't think certain things are worth your time or you don't think you're good enough or you'll ever have it, there's some deep programming you have to do. There's some deep rooted, deep seated unbelief or non belief or lack of belief that a person would have that they have to uproot. All right, you, you know how you talk to a plant positively and it will flourish and, and thrive. And if you speak negatively, negatively to it, it will die. Some of those seeds that you've been watering and, and some of those seeds that you planted that you've been watering that aren't so good and that have sprouted and grown into a plant. But it's not the, it's not the most positive seed to plant. Talk bad to those plants by speaking you know speaking the opposite of your, uh, 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 of whatever you whatever seed you planted you planted some destructive seeds you know speak some positive words speak some positive words and, and what that'll do is it'll, it'll cancel it out this the, the the plant will will die all right it'll turn it'll die and turn into something else something better but you don't want to continue to have you don't want to continue to have a belief about yourself that has you thinking that you can't do something you don't want to have something 
that makes you think that you're not good enough to do something. You're always good enough to do whatever it is you originally thought you could or felt you could. Maybe somewhere along the lines, someone changed your idea. Maybe they changed your mind because they didn't want you to see it for yourself. Doesn't mean you have to agree with that person. You have to agree with God. You have to agree with good. So that way you can win. Because there are some people out there that want you to lose. All right. There are some people out there that don't want to see you win. All the challenges that you've had to face up to this point, you've gotten past those. So this is just one more challenge for you to overcome. This is one more challenge for you to get through. I know this was hard and I know this was tough. And there are some things that we we, we kind of look forward to. There are certain things where it's like, that's all you had. It's like, yo, that's all I had. That's all I had to look forward to. It's all I had going on for that day. That I was just trying to make this thing happen. Or it may be something that you really need to happen, like a business. If I could just have made this move, if I could just have done this the way I wanted to, everything would have worked out. All right. The, the things that don't go the way we want them to, that we kind of drastically needed, desperately needed them to. And it kind of makes us not feel so good because we were really counting on something to happen you cannot allow situations like that to break you down or to make you turn into the type of person that you would never want to be the type of person that gives up the type of person that allows life to beat them down to where they stay down it's a challenge it's it's a test and if you did not let the sun go down on your wrath after going through something tough or going through something excruciating going through something horrible all right if, if you are able to pick yourself back up and to change the way you you view yourself change the way you view the situation then that's going that's going to bring on a dramatic change for you that's going to bring on a dramatic change for you. You're going to grow through that situation and you're going to be you're going to be stronger when you continue to go through things and, and, and choose an optimistic, positive mindset versus looking at situations and taking a bunch of L's and allowing them to defeat you. You can still win in the growth department, even if you take an L in um, you can still win in the growth department and still win in the hope department. Even if you take a L in an area where you needed to see something happen. I know sometimes we want things to happen, but sometimes well, the things that happen are meant to happen. Sometimes there's a lesson you need to learn from a situation. Sometimes there's some game you're supposed to pick up <coughs> from a, a situation. Sometimes it's a challenge and sometimes it's a test and God's trying to see or he's trying to see where you're at. He's trying to see if you're ready for a blessing. It, it could be a blessing on the other side of the door of, you know, not not um, not not being defeated. And you don't want to be defeated in here. A defeatist mindset is the worst thing you can have. A situation doesn't work out. Now a person thinks nothing's going to work out. Don't be that person. All right. Something doesn't go good. Now you're thinking nothing is going to go good. Don't be that person. Don't develop that type of mindset. That's a person with no faith, no belief. That person is in extreme lack. That, that person is in extreme lack. All right. When you lack faith or you lack belief in something that pertains to you, that's the worst thing you can do. It's like you, you you're not even giving yourself a chance. You're, you're cutting yourself off from something that's good for you, something that could change your life, something that could make you have a, a greater experience. 
all right something that'll give you more meaning give you more fulfillment everybody's looking for something all right what direction are you looking in who are you listening to are you looking in a direction that looks like things are going to work out or are you looking in a direction to where things are going to stay the same and things won't improve because that's just what you think a lot a lot of us have kept ourselves prison due to our own thoughts and the way that we've been thinking you have to change the way you think if you want to change your life if you want to if you want different results if you want a different reality your mind has to change you have to become someone different you can't be the same person if you don't want the same results you you have to be someone different if you want different and you can it's it's, it's easy it's not as difficult as you think you have to do you have to do more you have to invest in yourself you have to do things differently you don't have to go out and, and make drastic changes it's just small changes to your lifestyle that will allow you to head in another direction because that's where you want to go you know where you want to go you know where you want to go in life so your decisions have to take you there your thought process has to be in alignment with where you want to go you have to think like a person that wants to to go you have like you have to think like a person that wants to go where you want to be all the other people that are where you're at you have to to assume their thought process how would they think that means investing in yourself that means taking the time to you where you'd want to do other things and do the things that are important to you So in, in one way or another, you need to be doing things that are in alignment with your dream, your goal, what you want to pursue. There may be times where you take breaks. There may be times where you take breaks, but you got to get right back to it. There may be times where you take breaks, but you got to get right back to it. All right, because if you take too much time off, then you're gonna be you're you're gonna have to pick back up where you left off from. You want to be able to stay consistent. Sometimes when things don't work out the way we want, and we end up having to not do something that we want to do, you end up having to take time off from it. You end up taking time off from it, and you end up losing momentum. You can pick back up where you left off. Reduce reduce it to the ridiculous. Do a little bit every day. Reduce it to the ridiculous. Just do a, do a little bit every day, a little bit here, a little bit there. Just make sure you do something every day. Make sure you do something every day and then eventually your, your routine will pick back up where you left off. You just have to make sure that you're doing something. It's important to do something and it's, it's good to do something. 11-11. <clears throat> it's important to do something it's, it's good to do something It's good to have the right idea about yourself A positive idea about yourself People tend to have a negative idea About themselves and, and it's easy to look at yourself in a negative light If you can't do something It's easy to see yourself as defective It's easy to see yourself as Not good enough Not worthy all right, you have to change those thoughts, change that idea about yourself. Just because you can't do something doesn't mean you have to look down on yourself. Doesn't mean you're you're not good enough or you'll never learn it. You have you have to give yourself some time with things that you don't know. All right, imagine getting upset over yourself over something that they don't know. You probably wouldn't even get upset about something with somebody else who didn't know it. So why would you do yourself like that? Why, why would we not be hard on another person for something but be so hard and beat ourselves up about it and, and make ourselves feel feel uh, bad about us? Don't do that to yourself if you wouldn't do it, to, especially if you wouldn't do it to somebody else. All right. Doesn't mean go do it to somebody. Well, I'm doing this to me. I'm going to do it to somebody else. No, don't you do that. Don't, don't, no, no. It's not what I'm doing. No, uh, -uh. All right, we ain't doing that either. All right. That's counterproductive. All right. You're hustling backwards if you do that. So what you want to do, all right, what you need to do is what you need to do is 
to get your mind back where it's supposed to be at in the in the in the belief state in the state of faith and belief that's where your mind is supposed to be at your mind is supposed to be in a state of faith and belief that's where you need to dwell you you, you can keep your mind on a certain you can keep your mind in a certain state and that's the real meaning of vibrating on a certain frequency you're keeping yourself on a certain level mentally right you you want something you have to have a certain attitude you have to be open and receptive to receive so you keep yourself at a certain vibration for in in, in expectance of good things and things that you want all right you, you stay in expectance of good things things that are hopeful things that you hope for all right things that are positive things that are of good success of good report keeping your mind on those things all right keep your mind fixed on those things things that are, are good for you that's the opposite of having a defeatist mindset so if, if you don't let a situation defeat you that shows a lot of strength. If you don't let a situation utterly destroy you, that shows a lot of strength. There are people who go through certain things and they can't find the energy or they can't find the, the strength within themselves to carry on. If you're able to find that strength to carry on, if you're able to look at a situation and say, I'm still going to do it, I'm still going to pursue it, I'm, I'm still going to get back up and you know, take another stab at it, that takes a lot of strength. There, there, there are people who aren't, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna say that, but what I'm gonna say is this, that's because I don't wanna speak that. There are people who don't know they can do it. But then there are people who are aware that they can do it. And that's you. You're aware that all I have to do is get back up. So so why let a situation stop me? I don't have to be stopped by the situation. Your mind is the only thing that's stopping you. How you look at something is the only thing that's stopping you. You thinking that something is, is so difficult and because you couldn't do it that you should just quit and give up. That's what's stopping you. Man, this is too hard. I should just quit and give up and I, I'm never going to pick this up again, man. I just, man, I'm not good at this. Why even try? That's the only thing that's stopping you. A person thinking like that will never get anywhere. A person thinking like that will never have anything or they won't have what they want. They'll only have what they believe is possible for themselves. And that's 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 all you're ever gonna get is what you believe is possible for you. If you think something is possible for you, you're going to pursue it. You're going to be open-minded. You're going to realize that there's a chance, there's an opportunity out there for you for whatever your dream entails, for whatever it is you want to do. There's a way, an avenue, people who will help you. There's a way out there for you to live your dream and for you to pers for you to per pursue it and actually make it happen. You have to you have to do your part in creating it. You have to do your part in attracting it. But if you're if you want it bad enough, you'll have it. You can and if you feel that you may not want it bad enough, be honest. Because you could you can make yourself hungry enough to where you want it, to where you're focused on it, to where it's all you think about. You can you if you're not hungry, you can get hungry. If you're not motivated, you can get motivated. If you don't want it bad enough, all you gotta do is dig deep enough and find a reason why that'll make you want it that bad. Maybe it's doing your own thing. Maybe it's escaping the matrix. Maybe it's creating a business for yourself. Maybe it's wanting more control and power in your life. 
whatever it is that you want you can have it maybe it's whatever I don't know I guarantee you I guarantee you this if you if you do what's hard your life will be easy if you do what's easy your life will be hard the things that are hard the things that test you the things that feel like they're about to break you down the things that feel that you feel like you can't do you can do them the things that 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 make you feel like you'll never accomplish that you can accomplish that you have to override those thoughts that's called a defeatist mindset you have to defeat that mindset you got to defeat the defeatist mindset that's the devil right there because you can you can you can have you can have what you want It's just when you go to do something that you've never done, you have to become someone that you've never been. When you go to do something you've never done, you have to become someone you've never been. You have to have a new mind. You have to have a new set of belief. You have to believe in your skills on a new level. You know, you got to believe in yourself on a new level. You have to know that if you're not where you need to be, you'll get there. You have to know that if, if you're not good enough, you'll become greater than you already are right now. You have to know those things. When you're when you're pursuing something, you have to know that I may not have it, but I, I'm working towards it. Even if you even if they don't think you have it, even if it doesn't appear that you have it, even if your skills don't show you have it, you gotta know you have it. You gotta know you have it. I have it. I got this. It doesn't sound like it. You don't have to think so. I got this. It doesn't look like it. That's not what they said. I got this. And it's something you don't even have to tell them. That's something you say to yourself. That's something you say. That's something you totally deal with. Just you, yourself, and I. And if you, yourself, and I answers you back like that, tell them, shut up. <laughs> tell yourself to shut up. Tell those negative thoughts to shut up. Changing your mind will result in changes for you in your life. If your life isn't what you want it to be, check your mind. Your thoughts probably aren't what they should be or what they need to be. If you're not living the life you want, you're probably not seeing it for yourself or thinking it. Or it's, 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 it's probably you, you haven't accepted it. Even, even if you want to be blessed or get a miracle, you have to accept that. Well, whatever you currently have right now is all that you've accepted for yourself. It's all that you see for yourself. You have to start seeing something different. You have to start accepting something different. You have to defeat a defeatist mindset. Just because something goes wrong doesn't mean you have to go wrong with it. Doesn't mean you have to, it's the end of the world because something isn't working out. They tell you no. They let you know something doesn't. Something they tell you no. They uh, they something doesn't go the way you want it to. All right, we're speaking positive things out over here. You feel me? All right. Um, don't let situations defeat you. Don't let don't let a situation take you back that bad. Don't be that. Don't be taken back that bad by situations. There are certain things to where it could be the worst thing that could ever happen to you, and you're still, you're still gonna have to be strong. You're still gonna have to stand up, take care of your responsibilities, be who you always are known to be, and face it. Take it head on and deal with it from a positive perspective because that's all that's all there is to do some people they choose to be negative and they just move with the negativity 
and to, to some people that's being so to some people that's being positive i could understand that for a while i could understand that for a moment or in the moment i can understand that as a way to get through it but not staying there it's time and a place for everything but i i i, I don't un, what i don't understand is staying there to me that's that's staying defeated nobody wants to be defeated Nobody wants to lose. So if you don't want to lose, don't don't assume thoughts that are going to put you in that category in your mind. You only you only lose because somewhere in your mind you didn't see something as being able to happen for you. You didn't see a win coming your way. You didn't see yourself winning. See yourself winning. See something good working out for you. See something good happening to you. The other day, somebody went and found some money, picked it up off the ground and bought a lottery ticket and won. I said, you know what? I said, that person was that person was thinking <laughs> that person was thinking the right thoughts. You have to clear out a lot of stuff to get to where you want. Once you clear out all the chitter chatter and you can you can hear God for real, you can you know, you can communicate with him for real. Things get silent. You're on your way. All right, yeah, you're on your way. So for those of us who are on our way and those of us who are already there and those of us who are getting there. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Uh, we're not gonna be defeated, or stay defeated, or remain defeated. Losing is not an option. All right, it's a must that we win. All we do is win. It's not over until we win. All right. No matter how bad things look and no matter how bad things are getting, you don't allow images. You don't allow things in the physical to make you lose faith over how your situation is going to work out for you. You, just, you don't do it. That's not what you do. You can't do that. You can't do that. All right, you come, you you get back up, you come back stronger, and you can you continue to move forward, you continue to deal with life. Keep your head up, poke your chest out, and keep winning. You know that's what you want to do. You don't want to lose. It doesn't feel good. It's not for you. Don't you you don't want to be wasting your greatness. Re re reject weak thoughts. Reject a weak idea of yourself. Reject the idea of you not being able to handle or get through or overcome reject that idea when those thoughts come into your mind reject that and replace it with another thought man I could do this even if you don't think you can think you can according to your belief so be it unto you choose the right thought to get the right result if you're not getting the right results you want analyze your thoughts what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Well, who are you listening to? Some people who come in the form of help have defeatist mindsets of their own and potentially will sway you from pursuing a goal or a dream. 
You have to have enough confidence in yourself to block some people out. You have to have enough confidence in yourself to know that things are still going to work out. You have to have enough confidence in yourself that even when someone tells you, you know, that's not what you're supposed to be doing, you know, you're not good enough to make that happen for you. You can't make it work for you the way they've made it work for them. You've got to have enough confidence in yourself and enough positive belief and enough positive idea about you to disregard that, to not agree with that, to reject that. You're not going to invite yourself to, to, to that party. That's a party that you don't want an invitation to. Why would you allow someone to invite you to feel less greater than you currently do before they, before they open their mouth? You're not going to allow whatever they say to ruin your day. You're not going to allow something that comes out of somebody's mouth to take you off your pivot. You know who you are. You could you 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 could, you could talk yourself up at any moment. You could feel better about yourself at any moment. There's no power outside your mind. People are powerless. They're powerless except for whatever you give them. You give them the power to change how you feel when they open their mouth. Access granted. See. Witches, warlocks, people casting spells, they can only do it with your permission. And that's the that's the whole crazy part about it. They can only do it with your permission. Once you figure that out, the person is just nuts going off and doing that stuff on their own. That's a that's a world and a reality that they live in all by themselves that you choose to not participate in. Amen. All right, we're not participating in that type of craft, not witchcraft. We want to participate in the rich craft, believing in us. You either believe in, if, if, if you think somebody has the power to do something, you're believing in the wrong kind of power. You're, point, you're pointing your belief in the wrong direction when it needs to come on back home. All right, your belief needs to be in a, a no flex zone no flex zone that's where your belief needs to be at people out here trying to flex on on your belief all right trying to trying to uh trying to rip you away from your good things happening to you in life all right don't let them turn your smile to a frown don't let them have you thinking you're not going to go up in life you're going to go up in life. You're going to succeed. You're going to achieve all the goals that you set out. Keep your mind fixed on good things. Keep your mind fixed on you having your dream already. Someone may see you trying to achieve something and they may flat out say you can't do that. You can't have that. Don't believe that person. Tell them to have a good day. Or don't say anything at all and ignore them. But just know that other people, they don't have the power to speak negativity over you and, and make things not work out for you. It's only what you accept. It's only what you believe. They could just throw it out in the air. If you hear it, you accept it, you feed into it, you're fearful of it. That means in some way, in some form in your mind, you think it could happen. Don't think negative things can happen. And for the most part, they won't. There are some things that happen that you go through, you just can't escape, that's just life. But as far as what we attract for ourselves and what we what we see as real, what we see as possible, that's all up here. What, what we can achieve, that's all up here. There's people who chose not to live their dream because they had someone tell them that they couldn't do something. There's someone that didn't didn't uh, take them up on a promotion because somebody was, put some negative idea in their mind. There's people who will try to convince you you can't do something. 
when you're really the perfect person for whatever it is you're you're going after. You can't you can't listen to someone else in in a situation like that. You have to have confidence in yourself and you have to trust yourself. You gotta trust you. All right. Because if, if you can rise above certain challenges, if you can overcome certain things in life, other challenges that aren't that difficult, that you possibly just might make that difficult, you have to re go over how you look at that situation. You know what? This is this is light work. I might be making this a bigger deal than it is. Let me let me chill out. Let me not let me not put that much put that much into this. I don't have to I don't have to look at this this way. You know, there might be someone that might be trying to trigger you. They might be trying to make you react because they see you pursuing a certain uh, a, a certain lifestyle, you know, that may make them upset. You don't you you don't want to keep doing the same thing every day. You want to experience something different. Other people may not know how to do that. They may start to have some smart remarks. You may be having a little business on the side. They may have something to say about it. All right, you you may be doing some extra things. They may have something to say about it, but they bring it to your attention. Don't be discouraged by that. It's different if they just over there in the corner, just whatever, but they will bring it to your attention and they want you to feel like you can't accomplish your goal or they want to get nosy and get in your business so they can figure out and tell you you can't do it. Either way, it may be them trying to make it so you, you think you can't do something. Overcome that thought. Like the, these are the things that you go through when you're working towards something, when you want to be something. Because like, it, you know, the people say these things and these thoughts, they get in your head, they mess with your mind. If you don't know how to defeat them, then it could defeat you. You could end up with a defeatist mindset. You could end up believing what somebody else says because a person may not feel so strongly about themselves. If you want to do great, that's why if you want to if you want to do something you've never done, you have to become someone you've never been. If you want to do something great, you have to become someone great. Someone great is still going to go after what they want. Someone great is not going to give up because someone says something. Someone great is not going to quit because it's not easy. Someone someone great is not going to quit because there's a challenge involved. Someone great is not going to put it down and never pick it up again because they're not good at it and they, they feel that they should be great at it. You have to you have things are uh, uh, things take time. Things are a process. You have to learn how to do things. All right. Don't you. And if you're great, if you don't know how to do something, you won't beat yourself up for not knowing how to do something it's 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 ignorant to beat yourself up for not knowing how to do something you have to give yourself time you have to be patient when you're pursuing a goal because there are going to be things that you don't know how to do there are going to be things that you have to learn how to do and if you don't give yourself the time or the patience and all you're doing is getting frustrated and putting things down and never completing anything you're never going to get anywhere you have to complete things, you have to finish things, things have to get done. All right, you have to really focus on things and, and make what you have to do a priority. What you have to do has to be your priority. All right, regardless of a challenge. some And why I'm saying that is because there are some challenges that you're gonna face that potentially could make a person procrastinate. You're trying to pursue a goal or a dream. There's something you don't know how to do. It's upsetting you. You're frustrated by it. You don't know how to figure it out. You're, you're feeling like you're done. You're putting it down because you have a fear, a deep 
uh, lodged lodged in fear in your mind that you're never going to be able to accomplish this. This isn't going to be something that you're going to do. Well, guess what? Right there in that moment, that's a period for you to grow. Once you accept that, you know what? I can do this. Ways will work for you to you for you to be able to figure out how to do it. I'll figure that out along the way of trying to learn how to do something and teaching myself how to do something. There's things that you don't know how to do. There's things you won't know how to do. There's things you're going to have to learn and figure out. And that's a challenge for you when you overcome that situation and you don't give up because you tell yourself, even though you don't know it, even though you don't know how you're going to learn it, you tell yourself, you know what? I can do this. I can figure it out. I, I can have this. This is something that I can do. I don't know how, but I'm going to learn it. I don't know where I'm going to pick it up from, whether I got to pay for a course, whether I got to pray for somebody to come and, and be able to teach me, whether I got to uh, uh, study up on it, listen, watch videos, whatever I have to do, no matter how defeated I feel, no matter how hard things get, I still have to pursue this. This is something that I want to do. I love to do this. And most of the time people procrastinate because it's like one thing that they don't know how to do that they've been trying to figure out that they can't do and they haven't been able to learn how to do it. I'm here to tell you today that scratch out the, the apostrophe T off that can't strike the T off the can't because you can strike the T off the can't because you can. If something is tough, you, you got to become tough. If something is hard. You got to become hard. People want to be hard for all the wrong reasons. You need to be hard for the right reasons. All right, be, be, be 10 toes down for the right reasons. Be 10 toes down for that dream. Be 10 toes down for that difficult part that you've been trying to figure out that you haven't been able to learn yet. A, a way will present itself for you to be able to figure it out. You can do it. You can learn it. You can have it. Regardless of, of people doing things that are weird. Regardless of um life happening regardless of you seeing other people succeed and win and you feeling like you can't do it don't have the idea that man i'll never be able to do this that's a that 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 is a cloud over you that is a realm a reality that you're creating if you're low-key thinking in thoughts about your goal or your dream just because something is difficult or hard don't look at it like man i'll never be able to do that take a different approach Pursue a mentor. Try to find a way to make it happen. Find a way to figure it out. Just don't give up. Just don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't live in self-pity. Yeah, don't, don't wallow in the muck and mire. That's a defeatist mindset. That's giving up. Don't sit there and be upset or sad because you can't learn something. Take that time instead of being sad and upset and go learn it. Find out a way how to figure out how to do it. Find out a way to figure out how to learn what you need to learn. There's, there's different ways of figuring things out. There's different ways of learning things. There's different ways to pursue things. You don't have to take the same route as everybody else. You don't have to do the same thing as everyone else. All right. Get, get some advice on what you're doing. Put some of the things that you're doing out. That way you can figure out how far along you are. Get, get some insight on what you're doing contact some people that are ahead of you that are better than you seek out a mentor all right if you really want to if you really want to pursue this you're going to have to really want to do this you're going to have to really want to pursue this you're going to have to make some friends you're going to have to find some people to trust even if it's just a few people find someone that's doing the same thing as you and become friends with them be straight up with them you're not using people Hey, you know this, I'm trying to become friends with you. You know some things that I know. You know how to do some things that I'm trying to do. It might be a bit, it might even be a business arrangement set up, but who knows, still, something can come from that. A relationship can come from that. Now you now you have uh um now you have uh what's the word I'm looking for? A connection in the in, in, in the industry that you're working in. So it's, it's up to you to want to go after something, but you can't give up. You you have to go hard. You have to really want to pursue it. You can't not, not do it. It's got to be something that you want to do. And if it's something, if there's any way you don't feel 
like you, you could go as hard as you could. If, if you're not going as hard as you could, if you don't feel like it's for you, if you feel like there's something stopping you or you deep, deep down inside, you feel like you can't do it. It's probably why you haven't been going after it like that. So you have to really analyze how you feel about what it is you want to do. Really dig deep and go inside yourself and and ask yourself, is this something that I really think that I can do? Is there some is there something in me that doesn't feel like this can happen? And you have to go over that and you have to get rid of that. You got to go over that in your mind. You got to get rid of that in your mind because those those are the thoughts that are going to keep you stuck. Those are the thoughts that are going to keep you not being able to have what you want. Those are the thoughts that are going to keep you in a in a, a state of stagnation. You don't want to think that there's something that you can't do when there's something that you're trying to do. If you think that there's something that you can't do or you think you can't do this, you're you're really not going to be going after it like that. You're going to look at it from that angle only. I tried doing it this way I couldn't do it I'm not gonna go after it or try any other way or I'm not gonna try any other things or I'm just I'm just gonna give up and you can't do that you have to take another approach you have to try a different way you have to you know try to learn new things you have you have to make connections you gotta connect with other people who are doing what you're doing who know more than you Don't just don't just sit there and be upset over what you don't know. Don't be don't sit there and be upset over something because you think it can't happen. It can happen. Ask God to open up your mind and show you some new ways of how to pursue it. Constantly pray. Constantly pray to become what you want to be. All right. Constantly talk to God about what you want to be. That's going to allow you to be focused. That's going to allow you to keep your mind uh on the possibilities on the positives instead of the negatives because when, when, when you want to do something and you want to go after it and a, when a lot of people become successful i always hear a lot of people pray but just you know be just make sure you're praying for something good all right make sure you're you're praying for something that's good for you even pray over your prayers as whatever you're asking for just make sure god make sure this is good for me make sure this is something whatever i get make sure it's going to be good for me make sure it's not going to harm me make sure it's not going to hurt me make sure it's something that's not going to be destructive to me all right let let what i work for let what i'm working towards be positive for me all right there are a lot of people who end up becoming successful and things don't end up working out the way they would want to or the way everybody hoped for all right some people end up either falling off some people end up in a worse situation than they started out before they even got it that's not what we want all right and even sometimes i mean even that's not the not the worst thing because it just depends on you not being defeated there are people who lose things there are people who don't end up having the result that they want after getting the result that they want there's some people who get it lose it and then get it back it, 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 and it's easier for them to get it back. Why? Because they already had it. Once once you figure something out, if you lose something, you're in the best position you could ever be. You've already gotten it before. You know how to work towards getting it back again. We've already seen that in certain aspects and stages in life already. On on a, on, a, on the, the the aspect and the level of life that we're on. So when you get to a, a another level of life, you know that's definitely nothing to fear. Don't fear if you're gonna lose something. That's how people end up losing things. Don't fear what can go wrong. Focus on what can go right. No, no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. We have to, we have to keep our mind in a state of faith and love. We got to keep our mind in a state of faith and love. No plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. All right, no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. That means nothing bad is gonna happen to you. You have to, that has to be the thoughts that you think. No plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. What I want wants me. What I want is for me. What I want, I've already got it. I've got it. There's nothing that can take this from me. I've got this. That's how you look at the situation. I've got it. 
I've already overcome this. I will not be defeated. I will not be defeated. That has to be your mindset. Even if it looks like you're about to lose, I'm not going to lose. Jordan said he never lost. He just ran out of time. Even if you're dead, don't agree that you're dead. All right, agree with good things. Don't agree with failure. Don't agree with poverty. Don't agree with anything that you don't want. Why agree with something that you don't want to experience? Why agree with a negative situation? Why agree with the fact that you're, you'll never overcome something? That's a, that's a harsh, that's a harsh uh, reality to live in. That's a harsh way to deal with life or to deal with yourself. That's a, that's a harsh view to have. You'll never. That, that, that is, that's terrible. That's, 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 you're abusing yourself. That's self-abuse right there. If you, if, you, if you have that mindset that you'll never, you're abusing yourself. Cutting yourself off from all the good things that you could be having and experiencing and doing and seeing and being. Because if you have the idea or if you know there's more, this is how you get to it. You have to defeat all negative thoughts, all negative thinking, any 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 small feelings, anything that even smells like, looks like, tastes like, feels like, make you think like you can't have it. It's got to go. you got to overcome that. I know there are some things that are hard. I know there are some things that piss you off when you're trying to do something. I know there are some things that you desperately really want to do. Well, guess what? You can do them. As desperately as you want to do that, I need you to desperately feel and think and know that you can. All right? You're, 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 if, if you want to do something but you don't think you can, you're not going to be in alignment. Even though you want it, you have to also think that you can and you have to know that, you know what, I can do this. Any thought in your mind that makes you feel like you can't or if you have anything to where you're looking at it, 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 it you feel it in within you. you. You feel it within your body. You have that negative feeling. That's a block. That's what's that's That feeling right there is blocking you from your blessing because what you feel attracts you to receive what you want to, to have for yourself in life. That's why the people who feel that they can, they get what they want. That little feeling, that that little negative feeling that you feel when you're trying to do something and you haven't been able to do it, or you're, you're trying to get it and you couldn't, you can't get it. Any negative feeling is going to keep you stuck, not being able to get it. Just because you can't get it, don't think that you can't get it. Just and what I mean by that is just because it's not there yet or it hasn't happened, don't don't take on a defeatist mindset. You haven't done it yet. Don't think that, oh man, I can't do this. Don't look at life like that. Don't pursue your goal like that because you'll be wasting your time. You'll be like a hamster in a wheel going nowhere, thinking you're going somewhere, but you're you're not making the connection to, to be able to, to answer your prayer, for your prayer to be answered. You Whatever you want to do, you have to really deep down inside think that you can. And whatever is, is, is whatever is causing you to feel or think or look at it like it can't be done has to be eliminated. You got to destroy those thoughts. All right, and that's how you're going to start to see things differently. You start to you start to realize that you know what? I'm more than a conqueror. You start to realize, you know what? I can overcome this situation. You start to realize, you know what? I have greatness within me. I have greatness within me. I have greatness within me. I can overcome anything. This is just a challenge. This is just a test. Let me take on a different mindset. Let me take on a different spirit. Let me pick myself back up. Let me be who I know I truly am. Because that, that person who I was looking at five, ten minutes ago, I can't I can't do nothing with him. 
I can't do nothing with that guy. That's the devil. I can't do nothing with that person. That person's gonna hold me back, keep me stuck. Make sure that make that person's gonna make sure I don't become what I'm supposed to be. You're telling me you're gonna walk through life with a, a, a spirit like I can't do this? Oh no. It's time to be it's time to become someone we've never been. So that way we could we could it's, it's so that way we could do some things we've never done. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button, hit the share button. If you enjoy my content, send a donation, a super thanks, a super chat during my live streams, or you can send a donation to my PayPal account or my Cash App account. And all of those, my PayPal, my Cash App, are in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.